This is a Tibet House member video and is a part of the Force for Good class series, now available at tibethouse.us. There's a Japanese haiku, famous, old, overused Japanese haiku. Uh, the old pond, a frog jumps in, plop. Okay, that's the essence of mindfulness. The old pond is your mind. Frog jumping in, you know, could be the sound, could be your thoughts, any, uh, any kind of sense object. Plop, all the reverberations. You know, you're just sitting back. You're the old pond. You know, plop. It's all happening within. James Joyce supposedly talked about the best way to uh, look at a work of art, and he used the word beholding. He said if you bring it too close, it turns into pornography. If you distance yourself too much, it becomes criticism. So ag again, you know, finding that middle ground in your own experience, you know, not too close, not too far. So that, and then Freud also, you know, to his instructions to physicians practicing psychoanalysis, he should withhold all conscious influences from his capacity to attend and give himself over completely to his unconscious memory. Or to put it purely in terms of technique, he should simply listen and not bother about whether he is keeping anything in mind. So I think that's very beautiful. But simply listen. Okay. Could we open the window again, do you think? And then maybe we could meditate for, what, you, like 10 minutes? Is that all right? If anyone needs to leave because they have to get home or whatever early, it's totally fine. And, you know, can leave during the meditation or... <clears throat> and I would say, I'll talk a little, but I'll try not to talk that much. Um, let, let your eyes close. If you're uncomfortable with them closed, you can open them. Buddhist practice, they teach it both ways. But let your eyes close. Let yourself be comfortable, but, but feel supported by your chair or your seat back relatively straight. It'll cool off in a minute. And allow yourself first, just feel the body. Feel all the places where the body is held by the chair, held by the floor, held by your cushion. Feel your feet on the floor. Feel the chair against your buttocks, against your back. Feel your shoulders, feel your hands. Let yourself settle into your body. And then feel your mind, whatever your mind feels like. Feel that sense of awareness, how strange it is, how clear, how transparent. Notice your own knowing capacity. Have the sense of your breath happening effortlessly. Don't try to control it. Just notice, you might be able to feel it entering the body, leaving the body at the tip of the nostrils. You might feel your abdomen or your chest expanding, contracting. But let that just be sort of below your awareness.
and then just make the, the slightest of adjustments. Just allow your awareness to come to hearing. Just let the sounds that surround you, the sounds or lack of sounds, Let the sounds and your hearing of them be the primary focus for the next few minutes. Observe them as they rise and fall in your awareness. Notice that you can't really stop your, you know, the part of your mind that identifies things. You can't really shut that off. You don't need to. It just takes a second when it, oh, that's a car, oh, that's a cough. But stay as much as possible. Bring yourself back deliberately. Stay as much as possible with the direct, bare attention. to the shifting nature of sound. If thoughts come, that's fine. If feelings arise, that's fine. Make room for them all. But when you've had enough with them, come back to the sounds. Let the sounds be your primary object for the moment.
Now just make, again, the slightest adjustment and bring your attention from the sounds to the sensation of the breath as it enters and leaves your nostrils. So try to, just for the moment, situate yourself as if you're the doorman, the doorman in a busy building, you know, with the people streaming in and out. Sit right at the tip of the nose, as much as you can. Leave the breath alone, but as it comes in, streaming past you, feel whatever sensations are available to you. As you breathe out, with the breath streaming past where you're sitting, right there at the tip of the nostrils, feel whatever sensations are available. Whatever the actual instructions are, whatever sensations or lack of sensations. And then after the out breath, sense the uh, touching of your two lips together. So it's in, out, touching, touching. Just see how you can deliberately direct the attention there. And you'll still have the sounds in the background, that's fine, but just change the orientation a tiny bit so that you include the breath now. And you can even use the mental note or label. So when you breathe in, you say in. When you breathe out, you say out. When the lips are touching, you say touching, touching. And now make the next adjustment, just a tiny little adjustment, and feel your whole body just sitting, however it's sitting. The breath still going on, the sound still going on, but just be as much as possible without forcing it. Just feel the body, whatever sensations or lack of sensations, whatever feelings or lack of feelings. Notice them with that bare attention, that same quality, coming, going. Just sitting, like, how do you know you have a body? What are you feeling that lets you know you have a body? And just attend to that.
And then in the same way that the sounds, you can't control them, they just come. And your breath, in fact, comes and goes by itself. And your body is just here. Open the field of awareness to include your emotions, your thoughts, whatever other physical feelings or sensations might be there. Allow yourself again just to be here simply as you are with everything, all of your experience. Noticing whatever is most predominant in your consciousness. Just ride along with it for another 30 seconds or so, choicelessly. Any, any, um, anyone have a problem with that? Any, any questions or reflections or anything? Thanks for watching, and please be sure to like and subscribe to support the ongoing work of Tibet House U.S. Tashi Direct.